All right, so uh, yeah, I'm Eric Carter. And somewhere in the middle, someone yelled Baba Booey. That's something I always wanted to have happen. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about modernizing real world secure DevOps practices. What does this mean? Well, here's a picture of you all, right? You've got all these different job roles. And suddenly, in your life and your world, you're being asked to be security people, right? Maybe that wasn't what you woke up expecting to be, but we need to do that individuals in the companies that we work for and the different jobs that we have. So how do you move in that direction? Well, I mean, clearly we're starting to see people who once identified as DevOps people now are being identified as DevSecOps people, practicing what I'm calling the art of secure DevOps. That is integrating DevOps security with everything that we normally would have done as a DevOps person. And we have worked with, uh, as an example, with Red Hat on a customer who has credit cards in the cloud. So Red Hat OpenShift on AWS, on Azure, on-prem, in Google, and needed a way to protect that stuff. And all they cared about early on was just doing monitoring. So is it working? Is it healthy? But then they were asked to take care of everything else with that. And this is WorldPay. We have a great case study and we've done webinars with them. But think about that. You know, anytime you're dealing with somebody's financial information, there's, there's this uh, level of seriousness that all of us get into. And so pairing with Red Hat, with Sysdig, we were able to solve their problems. How did we do that? And so this is going to speak to the concepts of becoming more aligned and modernizing your DevOps practices. One is to secure the build. How many people scanning in your, in your uh, registries? Probably most of you, if, yeah. How about in the CI CD pipeline? All right, sometimes we're plugging in there, sometimes we're not. Shift left, we're tired of hearing about it, but it's like do security early and often, All right? So securing the build pipeline, detecting and responding to threats when I'm in production. And uh, Sysdig is known in part for Falco, which is an open source project. We don't own it. It's all part of the CNCF, but this is really a part of what it does, is to try and sniff out who's doing what in my running containers, in my running environment. Monitoring, of course, you can't see what's going on if you're not monitoring it. And uh, that's another important piece, is to understand how are things going? Is it healthy? Is it not? And now, because so many of us are running these things in the public cloud, we also need to understand Am I set up correctly? Are my configurations on AWS such that I'm protected? Do I have buckets out there that are open to the public with all that credit card information in it? You want to be able to see that. So all of these become part of that modernization of your, of your DevOps practices. And what do these all have in common? There's a level of visibility that you need visibility to see what's going on in the in your container, in your cloud, in your Kubernetes control plane, and so on, right? And so this is really who Sysdig is. It's all about providing, yes, we're in the deep end of the pool, providing you deep visibility uh, so that you can understand and be successful at implementing security across the different workflows. We have a couple of solutions, Sysdig Secure, Sysdig Monitor, a lot of it built on open source projects that you may already know and love, Falco, Prometheus, open source Sysdig and uh, Cloud Custodian as well, which is a new to the mix, even OPA now, by the way. So that's what Sysdig is. At, at the end of the day, Red Hat, Sysdig, and you, I just wanted to see if somebody would notice the squirrel, right? Um, confidently run containers, Kubernetes, and Cloud. Look, if you're ever worried you have an oh shit moment and you really want to make sure that you know what's going on in your environment, you know, between Red Hat and Sysdig, I think we can be very helpful to you. So that's all I have. Thank you, everyone, for sticking around.